I remember one day there was a day I did five interviews in a row, and then I'm driving back to my crib. I'm almost at my crib. I'm so hyped to go to sleep, to lay on the couch and watch YouTube for an hour and then go to sleep. And I got a text from somebody inviting me to a party at somebody's house who's like one of the most famous people in the world. And I was just like, I cannot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. I just did five interviews and I got three more tomorrow. I can't do anything. Right. And I, my my therapist actually told me that was really good. She's like, you 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 oh, you're man. you're acting on behalf of yourself right there. What do you think is gay to have a therapist? Yeah, a therapist. Yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, I feel like if you want to be the best podcaster, you can. You need to do everything you can to understand understand your own mind. So what does a therapist do? Try to help you th- help you through your nagging thoughts and your repetitive shit that's just plaguing you in your brain, like work you through depression and all that kind of shit. Oh, no, so you're paying him. Yeah. You can pay me to talk to me. I don't know if I would trust you with my mental Dr. health. <laughs> <laughs> you're trusting a stranger. You're probably traumatized. We all are traumatized. You have TSD. shit that you would do. You'd be doing yourself a favor to work through it with a prof- professional. I got professionals. I am a professional. No. All right. So I, don't think you don't you know, know I don't think you know what professional means. You don't even know me. What, you're a professional in what way? Don't you're worry a, about it. I don't know what it means. Yeah, no. I don't know. It's just. Well, you think it's gay to have a therapist? Nah, fuck no. Nah. A lot of rappers or people who came up okay. in the hood need therapy. Okay, question. Um, the chuckle shit, right? So <laughs> would you? No, for real. For real. Would you? Would you? Would you do like you know your girl and two men? Like, like you? Me being one of them? Yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. Y'all gonna do that? Yeah. So you you buy? No, I'm not gonna touch them. Uh, I'm a performer. Oh, okay. I'm an artist. Right. Question, though. Like, <laughs> you got a little mama, though. Like, how are you going to block her out from that? I mean, it is what it is. Mom and dad do what we do. We've been doing this since she was, before she was born. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she's going to have to, I don't know, at a certain point. <laughs> have you thought about it? Yeah, of course. That's the most important thing in the world to me. And if I really believed that that was going to be such a negative impact on her life, that her whole fucking life was going to be fucked up, then I probably would not have got deeper into the porn game, you know? But at the same time, I know a shitload of porn stars who have families and have kids, and their kids have perfectly happy upbringings. Now, the thing is, those people are not, like, famous, like, in the way that me and my girl are. So that has kind of made us have to really rethink. Like, like I was posting my kid all the time. After the last month of my life, I kind of feel like I'm never posting my kid again. And if I have more kids, that everything about it is just going to be low key, you know? Because I don't want my shit to have, like, I want it to have the least yeah, possible yeah. impact on their life. But, you know, it's like the truth is, is that I got all kinds of shit people say about me anyway. If it wasn't for the porn thing, there would already be a whole shitload of shit that I would have to worry about my kid dealing with people saying about me in the first place. My kid is not going to be able to escape the fact that her dad has a big presence in the room when I walk in. Mm-hmm. Every time I go to these fucking private schools and shit, I'm just praying that nobody notices me. Right, right, right. Because right. I'm, I just, I know that like they're going to be having conversations about us, and you know, it yeah. is what it is. The parents definitely notice you. Yeah, they just ain't saying shit. But I always feel like I come from the perspective where I feel very lucky I didn't end up like locked up or fucked up. So to me. If that's all my kid has to worry about, like, oh, you're rich and you get to go to the best private schools in the country and all you got to do is deal with the fact that people seeing your mom getting dogged out, mm-hmm. eh. Plus, that shit going to be old news by the time my kid's grown. Yeah. You're not going to be doing it forever. I hope so. Yeah. What, well, you anti-porn? No, I have not. Who haven't watched porn? I mean, probably everybody, right? Yeah, I, I just don't understand the world. That's why I was asking you. I just don't no, understand fair. the world. Everybody, when we have the conversation about me letting her work with another dude, is like, they kind of like can't really say that much about it, so yeah. it always ends up turning to the kid part. No, uh, no, nah, I just want another question. And fuck all that. You did what you did. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. I'm not breathing on that. I salute you, like I said. That's you in your personal life. And they, they can talk about that in the interviews and try to bash you for it. I salute you for it. You know Appreciate what I'm it. So fuck them. Don't let that shit get to you. Here's my question. Do you ever have times where it's kind of hard for you to keep your nose clean? Because there's, like, so many people getting dirty money up all there. All the time. All the time. All the time. Opportunities are right there. All the time. Even with fighting different shit, personal shit in my life, all the time. Mm-hmm. It's a battle. It's a struggle every day. 
Mm-hmm. Every day is a struggle, but mentally I'm somewhere where I can't make no excuses. You get what I'm saying? So I got a son. I got a. He can't see me sweat. So mentally, even though it be tiring, it be tiring. I mean, it be tiring. Like when I say, Jesus Christ, I be needing a break, but I can't let this little dude see me sweat, and I gotta keep going, keep my mind strong. Of course, you won't like fast money, of course, but. What I'm doing now is going to make sure my son's 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 okay. Mm. And I'm banking on that for sure. Definitely. Yeah. You're going to be looking out for the for the kids. You still working on making more kids? No, hell no. You're done. Oh, How old are you? Yeah. I'm done, done. How old are you? I'm 37. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting started. You? You want more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had my first one at like 37. Yeah, Which, cool. You only got one? Yeah. Okay. And how old is he? Eight. Eight. 29? Yeah, okay. And I was scared because, like I said, at that time, with the things I was doing, I was scared to accept uh, fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? I was ripping and running, but that's the best shit that could have happened to me. My girl was pregnant during uh, the 2020 shit, and when I was going to go to, like, uh, you know, march, like go to one of the protests or some shit, I was just going to go hang out, have fun, whatever. My girl was like, no. You're not allowed to. You got a baby on the way. You like, I can't have you out there. You're gonna get COVID. Like, I was like, I'll bring security. She's like, no, like it's not happening. And that was the first time she ever like really told me that she wasn't gonna let me do something. Mm-hmm. And that was a weird feeling of like, oh, okay, this is what I have to look forward to. All of a sudden, my life means a lot more than it meant before because if I die, then it's gonna really fuck up the lives of me, of not me, but my girl, my fucking kid. Like, that's that's a lot to bite off. Yeah, I can see that. Even though realistically going to those protests is not nearly as dangerous as a lot of the hoods that I've been to and shit. Why was you going to the protests? Show support. I don't know. See what's going on. Was he bringing a camera with you? Uh, I wasn't. I don't think I was planning on it. And then I seen MGK there, and I'm like, this white boy is soaking up all the clout. I should have been there. Yeah. And I seen him get yeah. punched at the fair today. The white boy, white boy at the West Coast. Huh? Well, I'm trying to be. I can't help it that he's drastically more famous than me. Who just got socked at the fair? MGK. Oh, yeah? Yeah. His security guard seems like he shut it down, but there's like a crazy-ass video. He's like, he shoves Megan Fox into like this metal fucking fence and shit, and like you can't really see who punched him. But I was like, damn, okay. MGK getting swung on at the fest- at the fair. That's crazy. He got socked or he got swung on? You don't really see it in the video, so it's kind of hard to say, but it says that that's what the security guard is like reacting to. Right, 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 right. I don't yeah. know. Fuck that nigga. I don't listen to his music anyway. No. Next question. What's your note saying? <laughs> fuck him. MGK. Oh, yeah. Nobody so, uh, fuck about him. Let's, get spicy. Let's, let's, let's get, get spicy. Let's get spicy. All right. Uh, wh- why did Lavish D take a photo with your mama? That wasn't my mama. It wasn't? Fuck no. I heard like an old ass interview clip with you talking about it. That was cloud chasing. That wasn't my mama. My so, mama. you were lying or he was lying? He was lying. Oh, okay. Yeah, that ain't my mama. But you had pre existing issues with him? Yeah, we all did, but I'm not about to get that marked the platform. Oh. Like God bless him and whatever he's doing. Um, I don't, I'm not looking for him. I'm not turning for him. But that wasn't my mama, bro. You don't believe everything you hear. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking with your mom is always bad. So I'm glad that wasn't your mom. Come on, man. Like, What's your relationship with your mom like? I love my mom. I just seen my mom yesterday. Yeah. Hell yeah. She's holding it together. Uh, mom, strong, saucy. Hell mm. yeah. Saucy mom. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if I would give my mom saucy. Saucy. She cool, but. That's Oakland. That's our lingo. Saucy. Yeah. Wet, saucy. Nice, cool. My mom's an old ass librarian. Well, she used to be a librarian. Uh, she cool as fuck. Like, yeah. Super cool. She saucy. Just found out about the fucking porn thing. Uh, she called you Adam? She, like, she asked my sister about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably kind of weird for her I to find out. everything you see on the internet. <laughs> well, I heard a whole interview where you were talking about it, but you didn't seem mad about it, so I was kind of confused. Uh, yeah, no, nah, because it's not my mom. Yeah. Oh, that's a fact. Okay. 